So welcome you all for the online classes. After completion of the alternative current, so actually the next chapter is electromagnetic waves. But that chapter we will discuss at the last. Okay, after completion of the total syllabus, at the end we will discuss that chapter, alter that electromagnetic waves. So if we move for the part two, till now what we have discussed that is for part one. So part one total how many chapters are there? Eight chapters are there. In part two, so there are seven chapters are there total. So in that seven chapters, now we'll start the ninth chapter, which is of ray optics. So what is the chapter name? Is ray optics. So actually the the total syllabus, the total second day syllabus will be of parts. So first part is of electrostatics, electrostatics. The second part is of electrodynamics or current electricity so current electricity electricity the next part is of electrodynamics or electromagnetism electro it is not electrodynamics electromagnetism electricity and magnetism together then electromagnetism after so this electromagnetism includes moving charges and magnetism magnetism and matter and emi and alternating current so next part is of optics and the last part is of fifth one of modern physics modern physics so these are the parts second year syllabus so second puc syllabus parts okay nara electrostatics completed current electricity completed electromagnetism completed now we will move for optics even in modern physics also so which one nuclei completed semiconductors completed in part 2 what are the chapters left part 2 chapters left for us or the first chapter is ray optics ray optics the chapters to be completed the second one is of wave optics wave optics so next one is of photoelectric effect or dual nature of matter dual nature of matter and radiation and the radiation so these are the chapters to be complete to be covered part 2 chapters to be covered okay ra ray optics wave optics and dual nature if we complete this then the last remaining chapters are left so that is our fourth one is communication system communication system and uh, in part 1 one last chapter is there na so that is left chapter name is electromagnetic waves em waves so these are the total five chapters think so this last chapter was not there in last year final in last uh, final public exam also they deleted this chapter so even this also chances are there so because but these three chapters compulsory we need to discuss if these three chapters are completed means for second year almost uh, total syllabus will be finished that is subject to part okay nara so this is regarding the syllabus introduction now let us start our ray optics why i written these three chapters at a time there is an interrelation is there between these chapters so that is the reason why i written these three chapters together okay ra na so let us start our discussion so let us start our chapter so very 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 important chapter the weightage of this chapter for subject to point of view is of up to of 9 marks compulsory one five marks question is asking even for objective point of view also this chapter is very 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 important chapter optics is very very important in second year syllabus two parts are very important one is of current electricity and one more is of optics if any problem is there in competitive exams so bit complications will get only these two chapters so one is of ray optics and another is of current electricity 
इवन मेजॉरिटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्किंग फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर्स ऑल्सो ओके दादा सो लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस वॉट इज ऑप्टिक्स 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 इज द ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिक्स रहा ऑब्वियसली यू नो इट इज द ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिक्स विच डील्स विथ नेचर सोर्सेस properties properties and effects of light effects of light so optics completely deals with the light only optics deals with the light so optics is the branch of physics which deals with the nature sources properties and effects of light in this optics we'll discuss regarding so what is the nature of light what are the types of sources of light what are the properties exhibited by the light and what are the effects of light completely regarding which one so light only we'll discuss okay rana so that is for optics so this optics is of two branches are there there are two branches are there for this optics how many two branches one is given by ray optics which is also called as geometrical optics so geometrical optics and one more is given by wave optics wave optics which is also called as physical optics so which one physical optics these are the two branches now why there are two branches are there means for explaining the properties of light sometimes we will consider right is a ray nature and ray optics we deals with the ray nature of light so what is ray we will come to know whereas in wave optics we will consider the wave nature of light are you getting ara so till now we have not started any question related with our syllabus just i am giving introduction so optics how many branches are there two branches ray optics or wave optics ray optics deals with the ray nature of light so according to the ray optics it deals with the ray nature of light okay nara whereas the wave optics deals with the wave nature of light what does it deals it deals with the wave nature of light clear dara so one is dealing with the ray nature and other is dealing with the wave nature so why we need to consider this natures let me come to know okay nara so don't no need of writing any notes running notes just listen where it needed i will dictate there slowly i will repeat second time so that time you can write okay ra so what is meaning of light what is light so light is the form of energy what is the light it is a form of energy which causes which causes sensation of seeing sensation of seeing okay nara in order to see any object first what should happen light should incident on that object and light should reflect if that reflected light reaches to our eyes then the image will be formed on our retina then we will identify that so okay nara are you getting up so light is the form of energy which causes the sensation of seeing the sensation of seeing is given by what a light actually light is a electromagnetic wave regarding this electromagnetic wave so you will come to know in chapter 8 actually it is one electromagnetic wave so that is regarding what a light so after writing this light now so what we required is what are the properties of light so light will exhibit the several properties so that properties let we know ra the properties of light the properties exhibited by the light the properties of light so light exhibit this following properties that properties many are there so let us see that light exhibit the property of reflection light exhibit the property of refraction 
लाइट एग्जिबिट द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इंटरफेरेंस इंटरफेरेंस सो लाइट एग्जिबिट द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डिफ्रैक्शन लाइट एग्जिबिट द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पोलराइजेशन पोलराइजेशन एंड लाइट एग्जिबिट द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ आफ्टर पोलराइजेशन कॉम्पटन एफेक्ट कॉम्पटन एफेक्ट एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज लाइट एग्जिबिट द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक एफेक्ट फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक एफेक्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज लाइट एग्जिबिट द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन सो ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन दीज आर द प्रॉपर्टीज मेन प्रॉपर्टीज विच आर एग्जिबिटेड बाय द लाइट सो इन दिस थ्री चैप्टर्स वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टीज ओनली so what are the three chapters left i told to you so part 2 part 2 second part the remaining chapters are uh, so ray optics uh, ray optics next one is wave optics wave optics the next one is so third one is of dual nature dual nature of matter dual nature of matter and uh, radiation dual nature of matter and radiation are okay now so in ray optics will deal reflection and refraction ray optics will cover reflection refraction reflection refraction will discuss in ray optics okay now whereas the interference or diffraction or polarization will discuss in wave optics wave optics uh, regarding the black body radiation you have studied in first year that is thermal properties of matter compton effect you will study in your higher classes so only the photoelectric effect you will study in dual nature so dual nature so mainly our focus is on this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 properties what are these the properties of light or you can also call this is photoelectric even effect of light also because optics also deals with the so effect of light also photoelectric effect so these are the basic properties of light the okay, kenara for explaining these properties of light still everything is only introduction why i am giving the introduction this much briefly if i discuss the introduction here means so no need of discussing in wave optics and uh, dual nature i can continue directly okay what is the introduction now we are discussing so that will be useful for the three chapters ray optics so wave optics so and the dual nature three chapters are very very important for examination point of view okay ra so for explaining these properties of light so properties of light so theories of light theories of light a light theories are there for explaining those properties i will write the properties here so first property once again because i want one side this properties what are the properties exhibited by the light that properties i am writing this side that properties are given by the first property name is reflection the second property name is refraction which one refraction and the third property name is interference once again writing interference the next property name is diffraction the next property name is so polarization polarization i will write i will not i am not writing so compton effect and black body radiation directly related the last one is the photoelectric effect photo electric effect so these properties only required for me so that's why i written this so for explaining those properties so there are four theories of light are there the first theory given by the scientist newton's corpuscular theory newton corpuscular theory 
द सेकेंड थीरी वॉज गिवन बाई हाई गेंस वेव थीरी हाई गेंस वेव थीरी हाई गेंस विच थीरी वेव थीरी द नेक्स्ट वन इज गिवन बाई मैक्सवेल्स इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव थीरी मैक्सवेल्स इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव थीरी इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव थीरी द लास्ट थीरी नेम इज गिवन बाई सो विच इज प्लैंक्स क्वांटम थीरी प्लैंक्स क्वांटम थीरी सो वी विल एक्सप्लेन फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लाइट सो दीज थीरीज आर गिवन न्यूटन कॉर्पेक्सिलस थीरी हाइगेंस वेव थीरी मैक्सवेल्स इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव थीरी फ्लैक्स क्वांटम थीरी so newton carpexilus theory succeeded to explain reflection and refraction it succeeded for explaining reflection and refraction so newton is the first person who made attempt for explaining the nature of light okay ra and this theory succeeded for explaining reflection and refraction so in our ray optics now we will discuss only for newton carpexilus theory but it could not explain the remaining properties for explaining so interference and diffraction so this is of newton theory succeeded for explaining the reflection and refraction up to some extent even not completely also to tell properly it succeeded for reflection not for refraction in refraction there is one major drawback is the for the newton carpexilus theory that will come to know so later for explaining the reflection and refraction and interference so huygens wave theory came Huygens wave theory, wave theory succeeded to explain interference or diffraction and refraction, but could not explain polarization. Polarization explained by Maxwell's electromagnetic wave theory, but could not explain photoelectric effect. Photoelectric effect successfully explained by Planck's quantum theory. Planck's wave theory, so quantum theory. Are you getting it? So these are the First, Newton Carpexilus theory succeeded to explain only reflection, not completely refraction. Huygens theory, reflection, refraction, interference, diffraction. So, whereas the Maxwell's electromagnetic wave theory, it could not, it gave polarization. It succeeded by successfully explained by Maxwell's electromagnetic wave theory. The next one is so photoelectric effect could not explain by Maxwell's theory than Planck's theory. so why the four theories are given because the first theory was not satisfactory the first theory so what is the theory was given actually what is the main drawback in this chapter we need to discuss only for newton's carpexilus theory so i will give you just introduction regarding this newton carpexilus theory so what is newton carpexilus theory according to the newton this is the source of light the source of light will emit the light in the form of tiny particles tiny in the sense small particles in all directions that's tiny particles only called as what a so corpuscles what is the meaning of corpuscles or nothing but a small particles so which is emitted by these small particles the source of light the source of light will emit the small particles in all direction how does this particles will travel this particles will travel in a straight line path what is the path followed will be a straight line so that is according to newton carpexilus theory so here what is the meaning of ray what does it mean according to this theory light will travel from one point to another point in a straight line if i draw a line joining this straight line path with an arrow so this is called as ray so this is ray according to the newton so light will travel in the form of rays light rays what is the meaning of ray so ray nothing but a, a directed line segment with an arrow so that is the what a ray a bundle of rays is called as beam so what is the meaning of beam light beam it is a collection of number of rays or called as what a light beams so that is the main uh, the concept of newton corpuscular theory according to the newton so the source of light will emit the light 
in the form of tiny particles in all direction that tiny particles are only called as the corpus corpuscles that corpuscles will travel in a straight line path if i draw a line straight line joining that path of the that particles that line only called as what a ray so can i run so ray optics is also called as what a geometrical optics so what is the main drawback why this theory discarded we'll come to know later now it is not necessary for us at the ending of this chapter we'll see so what is this theory main drawback why this theory was discarded why huygens wave theory ki are you getting ara still now i'm telling so one point also i have not told which is needed for your so examination point of view everything is in your syllabus only but just what i told that is only introduction okay now after completion of the brief introduction now let us start our syllabus so i told to you now in this chapter mainly we will discuss only on two properties the first property given by reflection the second property given by refraction and here one problem is there with the reflection so what is that problem is this reflection so they eliminated for cbse in cbse so they have mentioned uh, which is the syllabus eliminated because of uh, so class is not running properly because of the covid 19 so what uh, they have reduced their syllabus in that reduced the syllabus reflection not there but the problem is whether it will be there or not for our for this state uh, we don't know state board examination only they eliminated for so cbse and one more problem here we will face is so this this reflection so if they eliminated this is a basic property this reflection will come in refraction also this reflection will come in a next chapter wave optics also so that's why we needed to discuss for this reflection if it is not there for examination nothing 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 happen for us just you can eliminate but if it is there means once again for discussion only of reflection is somewhat difficult so that's why i'm discussing i'm starting the chapter with this only reflection so what is the meaning of reflection so let me consider one interface or one reflecting surface so according to the ray optics light will travel in a straight line path or a ray a ray is what is the meaning of reflection so whenever a light ray incident on a reflecting surface so what happened to the light ray will bounce back into the same medium so let me consider here air is there one of the light ray incident on a one reflecting surface so after incidenting on the reflecting surface like a plane mirror so what happened to the light ray so light ray returned back like bounce back into which medium into the same medium that property called as what a reflection okay na you need to write the definition for reflection in your class notes so what is the reflection reflection is the phenomena is the phenomena of bouncing back bouncing back of light of light into the same medium into the same medium same which one ra medium when it is incident on when it is incident incident on e on e reflecting surface reflecting surface okay na ra that reflecting surface should divide the medium into two parts so when light incident on this medium so what happen now because of the phenomena of reflection what happened to the light the bouncing back of light into the same medium when it is incident on the reflecting surface this phenomena name is called as reflection how newton explained the reflection because he is telling so light is emitted in the form of particles he compared the particles with a ball when you throw a ball onto the board or onto the wall so then again what happened to the wall will come back that coming back is called as reflection like whenever light particles are incident on a reflecting surface like how does the ball is bouncing back or coming back so the particles will be 
bouncing back into the same medium. That property name is called as what a reflection. So definition clear, Dara. So what is reflection? It is a phenomena or it is a property. Due to this property, what happens? Whenever a light incident on a reflecting surface, so what happens to the light? So light will bounce back into the same medium. So that property name is called as what a reflection. So okay, this reflection will play very important role in our daily life also. Like in case of mirror. So if that mirror not there, many, so many of us cannot able to alive without mirrors, without seeing the faces. So they cannot. Uh, mirrors will play that much important role in our daily life. That you know that now. So that in that mirror, the image formation is there now. That image is because of which one uh, reflection. Okay. Now what I told that is one more question. So what is reflection? After completion of the reflection definition. So now today. I'll discuss regarding the loss of reflection. Which one? Ra? Loss of reflection. Very, very important question for two marks. So, what are the loss of reflection? So, if I not discuss the reflection, whenever if you open your NCRT textbook, the first part, the first part reflection only. So, you may think that Sarah's escaped, uh, skipped that uh, reflection. So maybe whether it may it may be there or may not be there for comb for uh, examination, but we'll come to know. So okay. So what is loss of reflection? Very 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 important question for two marks. Let me consider one reflecting surface. It's separating the two medium. Let me consider one of the light ray incident. Actually, the light ray which is incident. So this is the incident ray. What is this ray name? This is the incident ray. So what happened? This is the light ray after reflection. So this is called as reflected ray. Which ray? Ra? Reflected ray. Reflected ray. Clear? Ra? Now let me draw one normal. Normal means perpendicular. Perpendicular drawn to which one? Interface. I will draw one perpendicular to the interface. Okay, ra? here three things are there. So one is of incident ray, other is of reflected ray and one more is of normal. So what are the laws of reflection? First law, first law states that the incident ray in case of reflection, the incident ray, comma, reflected ray, reflected ray, comma, normal round to the incident interface, normal, will lies. So, will lies in a same plane. Will lies in a same plane. So, each and every word letter you, you should get it. So, which is incident ray? This is incident ray. This is reflected ray. This is normal. What I have drawn, everything is there on the board. Board is nothing but one plane. In case of reflection, the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal will lies in a same plane. So that is nothing but uh, so which one ra? first law the incident ray the reflected ray and normal round to the normal normal round to which one interface will lies in a same plane. So this is first law. Before telling the second law, let me define. So what is the meaning of angle of incidence? Angle of which one incidence? So, angle of incidence generally represented by the symbol I, it is the angle made by incident ray with the normal. What is the angle made by incident ray with the normal? That angle is called as angle of incidence. Okay, Nara? So, generally for angle sign convention is there, that sign convention we will discuss later. The angle made by incident ray with the normal is called as angle of incidence. And one more definition is, what is angle of reflection? Angle of reflection. So, the angle made by reflected ray with the normal is called as angle of reflection represented by the symbol R. <coughs> what is angle of reflection? The angle made by reflected ray with the normal is called as angle of reflection. The Kenara, two definitions are understood. Huh? So, if I consider an interface, if I consider a normal, 
this is the incident ray angle made by incident ray with the normal is called as angle of incidence and if i consider interface so if i consider reflected ray angle made by reflected ray with the normal is called as angle of reflection so one is of angle of incidence other is of angle of reflection so according to the second law the angle of incidence the angle of incidence will be always equal to the angle of reflection the angle of which one reflection so during reflection the angle of incidence what is angle of incidence angle i will be always equal to angle r this is nothing but second law so second law is very very important the angle of incidence volume will be always equal to angle of reflection for example if a light ray incident at an angle 30 degrees with the normal with what angle light ray reflected at 30 degrees only the angle of incidence volume will be always equal to the angle of reflection so you needed to note down these two laws so laws of reflection actually we need to prove this laws of reflection in a high by using huygens wave theory in wave optics if i skip this laws of reflection now i needed to tell in wave optics so that's why i'm discussing before only so are you getting ara so what is angle of incidence the angle made by incident ray with the normal is called as angle of incidence what is angle of reflection the angle made by reflected ray with the normal is called as angle of reflection so what are the laws of reflection first law states that during reflection the incident ray the reflected ray and normal round to the interface will lie in a same plane the second law states that the angle of incidence will be always equal to angle of reflection so are you getting up so these are the laws of reflection after completing the laws of reflection regarding the reflection few important points so few uh, one two points which are extra needed we need to discuss so what are the laws of reflection we studied that laws applicable so laws of reflection are applicable reflection are applicable for applicable for all types of all types of reflecting surfaces reflecting surfaces this point is important all types of reflecting surfaces means the reflecting surfaces may not be always plane here it is of plane so if it is curved one that time also so laws of reflection applicable but that time how can i draw a normal to draw a normal i need to draw one tangent what i need whenever they given a curved surface because for every surface i need to draw a normal for drawing normal what i need to draw tangent then this is the incident ray and this is the reflected so this laws of reflection are applicable for all types of reflecting surface whether they are plane whether they are curved let it be and last second point is during reflection so wavelength whenever a light ray undergo reflection wavelength frequency so frequency and uh, speed speed uh, will not change will not uh, change but only intensity will change intensity will change are you getting ara so whenever a light ray undergo reflection the wavelength of light will not change the frequency of light frequency is a characteristic property either during reflection or refraction frequency will not change the frequency will not change speed will not change only which one will changes intensity will changes whenever a light ray undergo multiple reflections the intensity of the reflected ray will keep on decreases here one reflection sometimes uh, if light ray incident on one more reflecting surface one more reflection when light ray undergoing multiple reflections so what happened to intensity will be keep on decreases so you have to remember these points so one mark they may ask during reflection which property of light will remain the same so wavelength will remain same frequency will remain same and speed will remain same 
which one will not remain same so intensity will not uh, remains same so last point for this reflection and for this today class so that is third point so for normal incidence for which one normal incidence what is the meaning of normal incidence so whenever a light ray incident now this is on plane reflecting surface this is the normal for example the light ray incident along the normal whenever a light ray incident along the normal if this is the normal this is the incident ray angle made by the incident ray with the normal is called as angle of incidence but when the light ray incident along the normal so what happen a angle of incidence value angle i will be equal to zero so whenever angle i value will be equal to zero what happen to light ray will be reflected along the same normal angle r also equal to zero so then what happen whenever a light ray incident along the normal light ray incident along the normal that light ray will be reflected along the retraces the path the path of the light ray will be reversed so such is that angle i value will be equal to angle r will be equal to zero but when this condition is valid for normal incidence what is the meaning of normal incidence light ray incident along the normal so that is called as what a normal incidence so these are the points you need to discuss you need to remember regarding the reflection in this class i told to you one one mark question one two mark question one mark question is the definition of reflection and two mark question is loss of reflection okay nara so next class we'll continue reflection by a spherical mirror so maximum within two or three classes we will finish the reflection okay nara so you can hold this reflection if needed you can use it if for example if the deleted means so not necessary okay so that is regarding the reflection for today class so remaining we will continue tomorrow okay thank you